Hi, my name is Alan Ratafia and I'm the managing partner of Ratafia and Company CPAs. This video is a continuation of our ongoing series of relevant U.S. tax tips. Today I'd like to talk about establishing U.S. operations and the related issues for getting set up and then managing U.S. accounting, taxes, and various compliance. The U.S. tax system, although very complex, is generally less burdensome than most countries when you consider income taxes, value-added taxes, employment, and property taxes combined. Also, the United States has a bunch of tax treaties that reduce or eliminate many of the double tax issues between countries. This video is intended for educational purposes and it is recommended that you either contact us for any questions or consult with your tax professional before implementing any strategies. While the U.S. market may present many opportunities for your business, there are some hurdles that you may need to jump through. Hopefully this video will help make those hurdles easier for you. Okay, so let's talk about establishing and managing your U.S. based operations. First thing is, is selecting the correct business structure. Okay, so selecting the right structure is the first and most vital decision you should make when establishing a United States based business. This decision will have profound impact on taxes and operating flexibility. A corporation or a limited liability company is usually best. Exactly which one is dependent on which country you're from and who will own the U.S. based business and how much money you're expected to make. Many businesses form in the state of Delaware. However, you may be better served forming your company in the state you will actually do most of your business or have employees. Once your company is formed, you will need an employer identification number and also register with any local or state governments. Okay, let's talk about the next step after your business is formed, which is opening up a U.S. bank account. One of the biggest challenges you'll face is attempting to open up a U.S. bank account for your business. Due to U.S. government regulations, opening a business bank account for a U.S. company that is foreign owned can be exhausting, especially if you don't have the right paperwork or you're not present in the United States to open up the account, which is often the case. U.S. banks typically need to verify your identity. There are some solutions, however. It is best to find a U.S. bank that also has a banking presence in your foreign country. This way, the foreign branch can identify you as a real person and alert or notify the U.S. branch of this. Also, you could come into the United States and physically open the bank account, thus identifying yourself. If neither of these are a viable option for you, which is often the case, you can still get it done by having someone on the ground in the United States, like an accountant or an attorney, act as your representative and open the account on your behalf. Okay, so now that you're up and running, we should talk about minimizing U.S. taxes. U.S. tax rules are complex and expensive if not handled properly. Therefore, ongoing tax planning that coordinates U.S. taxes with the tax treaty for your foreign country is essential. Depending on which country you're from and the related tax treaty, you may want to make certain distributions from your U.S. based company throughout the year, not at the end of the year, and consider paying a management fee. In addition, the ability to properly time your income in the United States should be a big part of your U.S. strategy for taxes. This coupled with proper U.S. tax preparation and presentation can lower taxes and reduce audit risk significantly. Let's talk about some of the required tax filings. The good news is that the United States does not have anywhere near as many administrative filings and reporting requirements as many foreign governments often have. The U.S. also does not have a VAT system. In general, your core filing requirements are to file an annual income tax return with the IRS and the state. You may need to make quarterly payments also. Naturally, there, are, there may be some secondary filing, filing requirements like sales taxes, payroll taxes, and other related requirements for your specific circumstances. 
let's talk about maintaining U.S. books and records. Maintaining suitable books and records is an essential ingredient for U.S. tax and compliance purposes. From this, proper quarterly and annual tax filings can be completed. U.S. books should be kept in U.S. dollars and reconciled with your U.S. business bank account. If you do not have your own bookkeeping department or are unable to prepare these statements, you should consider using an accounting firm on the ground in the United States to do this. Proper books and records are without a doubt the ticket to tax savings and lower audit exposure. Salary. I'm often asked this, do I need to draw a salary? As an owner, you may not need to draw a salary, but it may be a good move tax-wise if you qualify under U.S. immigration rules. If you have employees, however, the rules are more stringent. You will need to register as an employer and withhold taxes. You will also need to secure workers' compensation, disability insurance, along with unemployment insurance. You don't need to pay your employees weekly. Rather, every two weeks is commonly accepted. Now, I recognize that this video does not cover all subjects and that you may have additional questions specifically related to which entity should I form and what are my specific requirements. You should feel free to contact our firm at no charge for any related questions you have about this dialogue and video.